Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create glitch effect for your text using Filmora 10. So actually, this is a very simple effect that you can create in Filmora 10 to create your beautiful or amazing title. Okay, let's go to the screen. Okay, so, so now I'm inside Filmora 10. In order to create glitch effect for your text, you need a text title or the timeline, right? You need to create a title first. So to do that in Filmora 10, uh, you go to title and then uh, add the included folder. Click on that and then select titles again. Uh, add the title tab, you, uh, you can use the default title. Just right drop it onto the timeline like this. All right, so first thing we need to create your your own title uh, with your own maybe your channel names or title of the movie you are creating or something like that right so here we have the default text your title here so just double click it to customize and right here i can change it to my channel name and also i will change it change the forms here uh, and of course you can do uh, something more here such as a size and also some uh, templates uh, and color and text space if you want okay uh, but now i'm going to leave it by default like this okay let's click okay and the second thing we need to create an image of the title that we have just created okay uh, to do that we select the title on the timeline and then uh, we can use this uh, button take a snapshot uh, in Filmora 10 uh, but before doing that we need to go back to our media and go back to folder so the snapshot will be here otherwise the snapshot uh, we go to the to any opening folder on your media okay so we're going to take a snapshot right now uh, let's take a snapshot uh, so here is uh, our snapshot by the way if you don't if you want to find the snapshot you can uh, right click and then uh, click on this uh, review in explorer to find this snapshot maybe you want to use it in other photo editor or something like that now we can delete the title on the timeline uh, let's delete it and then drag and drop our snapshot onto the timeline like this all right so here we have Okay, so here we have the snapshot on th on the timeline. So let it let's make it three seconds. Okay, just right click and then go to the duration and change it to three seconds. By the way, the duration of the uh, of the title it depends on you. You can make it five seconds, ten seconds, or even more if you want. Okay, let's click OK. Okay, the next thing, I want to split this image in three parts. The first part is one second. The second part, one second. And the last part is one second. Okay, uh, because I'm going to create the glitch effect for the first part. And then uh, there's no effect, no glitch effect at the middle. And then uh, finally at the last part, also uh, also glitch effect. All right. So to, to do that, uh, we can uh, play around here. For example, here is one second. Let's split it okay this is one second and we need another one second uh, right here okay so we have three parts now we can uh, can add glitch effect and chromatic aberration and shake effect to our image uh, to do that go to effect uh, okay at the included folder you see here we have a strong glitch uh, we can drag and drop this one to the first part uh, this and also this is a chromatic aberration we are going to use this one so just drag and drop it uh, directly to the first part of the text uh, by the way there are many different type of uh, video in fact here you can drag and drop any anything right here to create your own uh, special effect that you want uh, by the way for this tutorial i just uh, used three three video effect and the last one is shake effect so go to shake and uh, maybe chaos one uh, i think it's cool just draw it try and drop it directly to the first part and now we have this this special effect Ooh, nice right uh, but to see it better i think uh, i need to uh, add a background video uh, on this so so that you can uh, see the effect better uh, go to media again so i'm just uh, going to use a sample video 
uh, nothing fancy here uh, for the, this ice, uh, Iceland okay uh, let's drag and drop it right here so here's the here's the effect okay so that is for the first part uh, that is the glitch effect for the first part and I want to copy it to the uh, the last part to do that it's very simple just right click on the first part and select copy effect then uh, at the last part right click and paste effect and that's it done right so very simple and let's uh, let's render the timeline so that you can see the effect better okay uh, so this is uh, the effect uh, glitch effect for your text I think it's nice right but it's it is missing something maybe the sound effect so we go to uh, audio uh, my music and we are going to do this one uh, glitch effect and drag and drop it to the first part and to the last part of the video okay and we are done we are done with our glitch effect uh, for text So in my opinion, this is the easiest way you can create glitch effect for your text. Uh, but maybe you can uh, do something more, such as adding a, a transition between uh, your image on the timeline to create something better, right? Uh, and to do that, you can just uh, go ahead to the transition tab here on the timeline. And uh, we go to include it again. And you see here, uh, we have line and black one and also deposit up or something like that but we can use this one black one uh, to drag and drop uh, this one uh, in the between between two uh, two images uh, of the first part and the second part and uh, the last one like this and by doing this i think it's uh, it can improve the this this click effect a little bit but it's up to you if you want to do that or not uh, nothing fancy here and I think it doesn't necessary uh, but uh, by the way here's the the video effect with the transition between the image I think it's nice right okay so that is uh, technically how you can create clicks effect for your text inside Fimura 10 I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any question let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching I will see you in my next video. Bye.